What is up, guys? Caleb here. And it is a beautiful Saturday morning. We're here at a coffee shop. My man, Eli, you guys can't see him. Maybe you can. There we go. Elias. Uh, I wanted to just take the time to record. Uh, just dropped a post about uh, some things I've been uh, realizing and wanted to share it with you guys. I was like, you know what? It'd be nice to record a video on this as well. So that's what we're going to do. And a uh, quick reminder, if you guys are hustling, 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 I've seen this a lot in my life as well as in my circle. Uh, just remember, you know, there is also space to relax. There's also space to uh, kind of look at the bigger picture. And if you need to, realign. That's perfectly fine. And for us to, I think one of the things I wanted to mention here is that before we get into everything else is when you're realigning sometimes that means that you're not making progress externally right because it makes sense like if you're realigning with things that you want to do in your life what you want your what life to look like who you want to become in the journey you know that requires you to actually maybe put a pause on putting all the energy and creating things externally and that's just the nature of things right it's like if you're trying to improve yourself internally and make some real changes within yourself that's going to require you to take all of the energy that you're putting outside and take a few days, take a few hours, take a few minutes throughout the day to tap into that. Um, you know, and it, it's super important in this whole journey of entrepreneurship, of just your own personal growth. So I'm, I'm going to fill you guys in on uh, my deep rooted secret. A number one deep rooted secret that uh, most likely if you, if you just know me on social media, that's probably not something that you know. And something that I, this one thing, this secret, uh, and I'm just really calling it a secret because I don't really share it with a lot of people unless, uh, unless I have that relationship with them. But it's something I prioritize more than anything else in my life. You know, if you were to take money, you know, you were supposed to take, or I was offered millions of dollars or even relationships, you know, it, it matters more than all of that to me. Uh, and recently, for you guys that don't know, I decided to shut down the, the companies uh, we were building for the past four years. Uh, that includes the marketing agency, that includes Organic Outbound. Uh, organic Outbound is very in the infant stages, about four months of the you know, whole startup grind. Uh, but we were growing at a very rapid pace. Uh, and what I had to do was make that decision to shut it down. Uh, and obviously, you know, some, some due to um, financials, but also a lot of it having to do with not feeling like I was aligned with the direction I was going. Um, if you were to ask me, one of, the, one of my favorite books that made a, a huge difference in my life uh, that was recommended by one of my friends. And once I read that book, uh, business-wise, it, it just, it made me think of the, the bigger game and what, what the game was. Like, what was I even playing? And when I started to tap into the, the concepts in that book, one of the, one of the main points was that uh, and, and it's a similar concept with Built to Last. Uh, Built to Last is a, is a book that uh, you know, takes a lot of data and they look at why Fortune 500 companies, the top companies, if you think about Apple, if you think about um, Tesla, if you think about you know, SpaceX, all of those companies and how they lasted through the hardest times, the hardest financial periods of the economy. And it came down to uh, the mission. Right, having a, a mission, having a purpose behind what you're doing. Because without that, uh, it's very hard to keep your team members focused. It's very hard for you to focus as the founder. And so that's, that's the, the takeaway I got from that book. And when I read that, I thought about in our company, you know, what's the mission here? Like, what's the purpose? Outside of wanting to make money, outside of wanting to grow to seven figures, eight figures, why was I even doing this? You know, and I couldn't confidently... I remember sitting down with Eli and we couldn't come up with like a reason, you know? And so we started to think about, okay, what about, uh, you know, we were in the Cairo space. What about all the patients that we're going to affect? You know, we, and, and that was in the right direction, but it still wasn't true to ourselves, right? It wasn't true to myself of like what I really wanted to accomplish, not even accomplish, but the, the continuous mission, right? They call it the everlasting mission. Like if there was a mission that, that never that you weren't going to accomplish in your lifetime, what would that be? All right, because I think with money, 
and building a business for monetary gains, of course, that's, that's a benefit. It helps. But the way that Simon Sinek broke it down was that money is just the vehicle for you to continue to drive that vehicle. But it's not the, it's not the end direction. Right. And so if you could see that as like money is just a fuel for that, but you still need to have a direction. You still you still need to know where you're going. Right. And so that was like kind of the takeaway. When I read that book, I started to think about, okay, what is the real purpose? Like, why would a team member want to stay at our company, uh, even though they're offered way more in a salary, even though they're offered way more benefits at a different company? Why would they stay at our company? Uh, and usually that comes down to they feel connected with the sense of purpose, sense of mission uh, at our company. And I, I didn't have that in our company. So one of the reasons why I decided to shut it down was that I, I realized if I was going to build a company, and we're thinking long-term, I'm not thinking about the next year or the next three years, but if I were to build something for the next 10, 20, 30 years, if I were to do a mission that was not going to be accomplished in my lifetime, like what would that look like? Uh, I really opened up the possibilities of what, what I wanted to do and not having to confine myself to just the agency space or just the marketing space or just uh, an online business. Like, what do I want to create? And that's, that's the catalyst. And, you know, that with, you know, all the things I listed down there, that was the reason why I decided to kind of shut it down and realign myself again, realign myself to what I wanted to do. And, um, you know, I'll be honest, I got myself into a pretty, uh, dark spot after putting you know blood, sweat, and tears into the business for the past four years, uh, having to you know really build it up like a baby, and just letting it go was like the one of the hardest things that I've done in my entire life. Being able to build something and then leave it was a very strange feeling. Um, and there's a lot of and what I realized when I made that decision, there's a lot of things that I had to let go of. Like I had to let go of myself being identified as, you know, an entrepreneur or a business owner or, you know, even even associated with the companies I was building. Like I had to be okay with my name not being a part of that business anymore. And that was a very hard thing for me to uh, understand. I always, you know, when I was talking to people, I always felt like I had that sense of uh, credibility, right? Credibility of, you know, this is the business that I'm the founder of or CEO of. And, you know, and we're doing these kind of numbers. And I, you know, there's a lot of ego driven beliefs around the company and so when i let go of that it was it was a very uh confusing moment i was uh i was kind of in the dark um but basically what i started to do is i i just reflected right i reflected on okay well let's take the past four years you know this has been a crazy past four years i felt like i was on you know i was going like 200 miles per hour um uh, really not taking the time to reflect and so at this point in my life, I was like, okay, this is a perfect time for me to sit down and reflect on the past couple of years. Um, and as I was doing that, I started to remember why I even started this entire journey. Like why I decided to even go into entrepreneurship, why I decided to drop out of college, why I decided to travel. Um, and the reason was that I wanted to grow as a person. Uh, that was something that was like instilled in myself after going through a lot of anxiety, after going through a lot of uh, internal hardships for myself at a very young age, um, I always had that kind of like desire, that burning desire to want to get past it and to want to grow and develop myself to be uh, how I want to be, like become the person I want to be, uh, live the life that I want to live. And so that was always the intention. And it was to challenge myself to like have constant growth and at the time, four years ago, when I decided to go all in into marketing and building my own business, like business in the agency space was my vehicle at that time to do what I wanted to do, which is to challenge myself and grow my and grow internally as a person. So it wasn't really about growing the agency. It wasn't really about making the money. It was always about how do I challenge myself? How do I grow? What's the best way for me to grow internally? And business in the agency space, again, was the, my vehicle to do that at that time. And I've, I did accomplish that, you know, I, I've grown tremendously over the past four years. Um, and I, I see the difference that it's made on my life, you know, when it comes to habits, discipline, just learning so many things about business. Um, however, when I was reflecting, I had to remember like, what, what was the priority through it all? I guess, you know, the vehicle was the business, the agency space. That was a, that was a space for me to be able to create, to be able to have growth, to be able to challenge myself. 
And so it was one of the most challenging moments in my life. But there was a priority, right? And uh, you know, I think it's very important to like remember this. Like, what's the priority in this? Like, what? Why are we doing this? It's like the why behind everything that we do. And like I said, that was to grow internally. And so the priority, my deep rooted secret that I don't tell, you know, people that uh, just meet me for the first time, people that really know me, like my best friends, uh, my family, um, you know, they understand that my priority is my own inner work. My priority is my own uh, level of growth internally. That's the priority. So whether the vehicle might be the business, the vehicle might be the agency space, the vehicle might be whatever I decide to do moving forward. But the, the why, the purpose, the reason behind why I decided to do those things or why I choose to do those things is because I prioritize my inner work. I prioritize my level of growth internally. And so doing this reflection, I was journaling. Um, and as I was journaling, I, I reflected on that. And I, it was like this sudden sense of like, or I guess like a deeper sense of direction, you know, knowing that the things that you might do, right? The vehicles might change. The, you know, the line of work that you do might change, but the direction stays the same, All right? And that was for me, like knowing the deeper sense of direction was for me, like the like a reassurance that it's okay if the companies didn't work out. It's okay if I decide not to do uh, something I put my blood, sweat, and tears into for the past four years. It's okay if I decide to discontinue it because, again, the priority for me is my own inner work, my own level of growth internally. And just because I decide not to do business anymore or just because I decide to shut down the current companies does not mean that I'm not on my path uh, and that I can continue going down that path. Right. So those are, those are my intentions. And being able to, to realize it for me, like as I'm sharing this to you guys, is, it, it was profound. Um, and from then on, you know, I think it becomes, and I was reflecting on this and I, I feel it. Uh, for me now, it's less about the outcome. Like it's less about the goals, right? Because yes, goals are great to have. Yes, the outcome is great to have, but there's, there's the infinite game, the, the game of never, of never, like there's no win or lose. You're in the game to play the game, right? I'm in this game to do the inner work. I'm in this game to work on myself. That's the game I committed to play for the entire, for the rest of my life. And so I just, there's no such thing as me quitting. I'm again, I might quit the companies. I might quit the current endeavors of business, but the actual commitment that I made with myself, the, the, the intentions of growing myself, of having that as a priority, my inner work as a priority, that does not change. And knowing that, I think it, it just lifted this, this weight off my shoulder. Cause I knew that those, like, as long as I commit to that, it's okay. It's, it's who I'm becoming the journey, the level of growth that I'm able to experience. That's what means the world to me right now. So if you're watching this entire video, um, hopefully you got some, some, maybe some value, a little bit of value so that you can uh, do a little bit of uh, reflecting on your own journey. And if it means that you have to realign uh, and take the day off, do, do it for yourself. You know, don't do it for, uh, don't do it because, you know, other people or, you know, Try to think about, oh, what, what is, you know, what is my, what is my team going to think? At the end of the day, like your team is going to thank you for doing this and realigning with yourself. That's what's going to help your team members uh, in the best way possible. So I hope you had a little bit of value, hope, maybe a little bit of insight. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be releasing more content like this, guys. Uh, just really sharing what I'm going through. Uh, no real objective here is just to share and hopefully bring a little bit of value to you guys uh, so that you could benefit off of uh, the things I'm learning and going through as of right now. So thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.